Uh oh, we're back in the East Coast. And this time, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere on a bike. Not necessarily the middle of nowhere. We are in Roosevelt Roads, also known as a semi-abandoned military base, or used to be a military base. Um, but half of it is still used by people. We're just in the abandoned park. Sorry, the abandoned section of it, as you can see. As you can see. And we're starting our journey today, wherever it may lead us, by looking for a plane. Because honestly, I have never seen an abandoned plane, and not just any plane. No, this is an airliner plane, okay? Like a, you know, the, the, the type that you go on, you pay like a couple hundred, because it's an American Airlines plane. So, yeah, it should be right up ahead here to the left. Let's see. I don't know if you saw a car pass, but it's kind of where the uh, more civilized section begins. Yep, there it is. Okay, and the reason as to why I'm on a bike is because this place is huge and you can't always access it by car, so we're going the old school way. Look, that's an abandoned American Airlines plane, holy shit. And it seems like they've tried to keep people out, but uh, not gonna lie, that is not the greatest effort. <laughs> All right, let's try and get our bike in because I don't really want to walk in there. And now the hardest part. <sighs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Welcome. All right. Okay. Let's get it. So yeah, Roosevelt Roads. A handful of you have actually wanted me to come here. So I hope you're happy, because I am. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really that interested in this place until they told me about this puppy. Because not only is this uh, an airliner, the fuck, but also it definitely looks old school. Like, I would say this thing is at least from the freaking 80s. But there's so much, like, it isn't just the plane, you know, it's like a whole ass hangar here that seems abandoned. But, yeah, it's like I said, man, it's the unique stuff that calls my attention. I got an agenda. I can't just attend to anyone or anything. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I've never been in such close proximity to a plane before like this. I've never even boarded a plane from the outside. And now that I think about it, how the hell am I supposed to go in there? Wow. Since we're on the bike, I might as well give you a 360 look. Holy shit. That is insane. And you know what's also insane? Can you not see it in my face how I'm like sweating? Yeah. Summer is nearing again. Even though it's still just February, I feel that heat creeping in, and I am not excited about that. But it is a little bit ironic that I am checking out a plane, because there's a lot going on behind the scenes, let's just say that. Anyways, quit talking, Laura. Laura, let's go in. Okay. Right off the bat, oh my gosh, check this out. That is insane. I wonder how old this is, but it's no different than the ones today, so that should be cool. I don't know if you can enter through here. I'm pretty sure this is where the 
This is where you put the suitcases. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought. Holy shit. Maximum capacity, 6,500 pounds. Gnarly. Well, we can definitely go in. Also, I'm very happy that I'm kind of the only one in here today. Because, what can I say? There's other curious people out there, right? Shit, I almost fell. Check it out. Whoa! Gnarly. I don't know how deep I want to go into this place because I don't know how stable this is, but if you ever wondered where your suitcase is going, they even have a little curtain and everything. Sorry, that was my phone. Not sure what that is, but yeah. opened shut but yeah it seems like we might have to do a little climbing to get into the actual plane uh. damn oof this is gonna be interesting let me just check that there is no other entrance nope <laughs> okay let's see the table is pretty sturdy, but I don't know about this. Oh my god. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh shit! Okay. I have no idea how I'm supposed to climb this. Because this is high up. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. This is really high up, and I don't have a whole lot of strength. I'm a little fucked. Let me see if I can find something else to put on this. Hold on. Okay, check it out. I did a little step, so this should give me more of a boost to be able to climb into this comfortably at least. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Or not? Or not? Oh shit. <sighs> Come on. I hate it. I hate this. I hate this. I don't like heights. But fuck it. Ooh. Let me take off my backpack actually. <sighs> okay. Oh. I'm scared. I don't like heights. I don't want to fall. Let's see where can I grab on to? I got this. <laughs> okay. Woo! Motherfucker! Oh shit, that echoed. I did it! Holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh shit! That's insane. Oh my god. This is such a cool sight. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is amazing! Holy shit, look at that. So I don't know what kind of plane this is. I did read which one it was, but girl, I don't remember. I don't know a thing about planes, but check that out. That is insane. Holy fuck. This is so cool! 
Look at this. Oh my god. Where do I even begin? Yeah, these are definitely old. Old seats. But looks like people do like to chill up here. Oh, check this out. I don't know if they just ripped up the seats or what, but... This is so insane. Holy shit. Please don't kill me in the comments, but I accidentally ran into something and oopsie. Don't kill me in the comments! Oh my god, did you hear that echo? That was insane. Ah! Good thing I have really good subscribers who send me really cool things in the mail for these kinds of events. I have hydro... Colloid band... Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh my god, that's bad. I can't believe I'm healing a wound in an abandoned airplane. That's so cool. That is cool. You know what? I'm not going to learn my lesson from this. Of course I'm still going to go and flip-flops into places. Because, because. I don't even think this is going to stick. Good as new! Please don't kill me any further. I did have boots the whole time in my backpack. Baby, I'm a masochist. I kind of am a masochist. With adventure! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut Look at that. That's insane. Okay. Good as new for now. Ow! Oh. God damn, this, this plane is trying to kill me! Holy shit. Anyways, I googled it. I have 48 hours to get a tetanus shot, so don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Uh, and, if, and if you're wondering where I got cut, I was um, walking around here and I hit my finger with that. Anyways, let's freaking explore this plane already because I'm dying to explore. Let me just grab my flashlight real quick. And uh, hopefully we'll have no visitors, but I'm remaining optimistic. So, welcome to American Airlines Flight 787. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> because boy, oh boy, I never thought in a million years that Puerto Rico would have one of these puppies just literally sitting in an abandoned airfield. That is insane. And also, I keep finding these. I don't know if it's like 2021. That's impossible. Somebody brought this here. But check it out. This is absolutely incredible. And here's how I know it's old. Look at these freaking buttons. That is not like, and also, also, because I did explore this plane on my own a little bit to, to get my, bear, my bearings. And these are other indicators. Look at the light knobs. These days, it's a touch screen. The phone is missing, but also, no cigarette disposal, bitch. This is an old plane. Buttons, you name it. Coffee maker, hot water. So yeah, it's been ransacked and I don't blame people. This is really cool. You don't always, you don't, it's not always that you get the opportunity to check out a freaking abandoned plane. Oh my God, this thing just hit my head again. Anyways, check this out bathroom dude with a changing table wow look at 
that incredible I wonder why they left this here like why this so because I haven't talked too much about the history of where I'm at Roosevelt Roads is a it used to be a naval station but now it's pretty civil like there's a nearby small airport here um, that is used for civilian flights really I don't know about like main carrier flights like American Delta Spirit all that but definitely smaller planes a lot of people land there take off from there but back in the day this place was built around the 40s around the Second World War and the guy who came up with the idea and I'm not even showing you the place I'm showing you a plane but the guy who came up with the ideas for Roosevelt Roads was you guessed it the president himself Roosevelt but the thing is he died before this place was ever constructed so it was constructed around World War II to do special missions around the Caribbean um holy shit <laughs> insane this is insane the Caribbean the Atlantic and uh Wow, I'm sorry, I am starstruck by this. I never in my life thought I would ever be walking on a plane wing. So just imagine, you're in the air, this is what you would see. This is insane. Um, so yeah, this naval station was used for a lot of things, a lot of military stuff. It was basically a hub. In what part of the naval station am I? I really don't know. And I really don't care to be quite honest with you because this right here is what I'm for. And it's also quite ironic because I might be in the skies myself soon. So yeah, actually let's walk all the way there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little scared, but yeah, it's jiggling a little bit. Like, I just don't want this thing to fall, you know what I mean? But I, come on, it's a plane. It, it should be built for that. And honestly, shout out to whoever ransacked, oh my God. Whoever ransacked this plane, opened these doors. You are awesome, thank you. I cannot imagine like having this and not being able to really do much because the plane is like locked up. But yeah, I really don't know why I'm scared. These planes are built to go through thunderstorms. And I'm scared to reach the end of the peak of the wing. I'm just also scared of heights, so yeah. That's insane, look at this freaking view. My God, it almost looks like this plane was gonna take off, but something must have happened and they were like, nope. It's just gonna stay here forever. <sighs> Insane. Wow. That's where the uh, airport must be. I'm pretty sure this road definitely leads there, but yeah, let's go back inside. Yeah, this must have been, yeah, definitely the emergency exit. Get out, no TVs, bitch. Oh, actually, wait, no. No, that's not a TV. Wow, there's no TVs at all. This is really old. Because I remember when I was a kid, like on the flights I took and stuff, there was always like a TV in, the, in a, a corner in like every 10 rows or so, I would say, or less. And you had to watch that TV all the way from your seat. Like the TV could have been here and you were sitting over there, I mean, you know, you guys who are perhaps around my age or maybe a little older may remember that. Um, I remember that. So, and the fact that this plane doesn't have even those, that's insane. This is old. This is before even TVs were in the motherfucking plane. But check it out. Here we go in the back. Must have been more emergency gear in there. 
into here as well. And here. What the hell is that? This is this was a big plane. Also check it out. There's like two rows here and then three rows here. Never seen that in a plane before. I love how you would open them before. Yeah, th this has been ransacked. I don't even know why I'm expecting to find um, anything really, but how's that? Yeah, another laboratory. <laughs> Look how cool is that? A friggin' exit sign. Man, I would take that. Whoa, somebody was really looking into this place. That's nutty. I'm gonna say this plane is either from the 90s or... Yeah. Has to be from the 90s. I wouldn't say 80s. I wouldn't go that far. But I don't know, because 90s did have TVs. Or, I don't know, please correct me if I'm wrong. I was born in 1998, so I don't know at all. Also, there's a door in the back of the plane? What? I have never seen that before. I guess you would enter the plane through the, s through the back as well? Or was this some kind of like military American Airlines plane? So I have never seen that before, like an exit on the back of the plane. That is insane. Now we got the uh, other laboratory and pretty intact. Not only that, it's pretty clean too. It doesn't smell at all in here. I never in a million years thought I would be taking video in a laboratory like this. I'm usually in the air when I'm in the laboratory. But yeah. What's that? Oh, this is seat stuff. I haven't even taken a minute to stare out the window. Just imagine how many people stared out this window. Because keep in mind, oh, planes are built and they're used for decades. Over and over and over. So this plane has probably been on hundreds if not thousands of flights. And just to imagine the amount of people that once sat in these chairs. And now it just sits here vacant. And I guess you could say that this plane and this abandoned location isn't really sad because every plane's life has an ending. They're not, you know, they're, they can only get used so much. It's like a vehicle. It runs out of miles eventually and you either stop using it or I guess you replace the motors and whatever. Don't quote me on that. I don't know about plane engineering, but... Eventually, these planes are always going to be stopped um, in their journey, so... If anything, this is just an amazing piece of memorabilia and history. And this plane might only be like, I don't know, 30, 40 years old? Time keeps going, and eventually this plane is going to be 100 years old, and who knows if it's still going to be sitting here. So, subscribe, so that when I'm like 90 years old, I can revisit this place, and you will see what it looks like then. <laughs>
for this plane, if it's from the 90s and it was used up, uh, up until 2008, that would mean that it's been abandoned for over 10 years now. Actually, 14 to be exact. That's insane. Check it out. This is all you would get back in the day. No USB, no Wi-Fi, just a freaking DC powder. Power, sorry. And an extra cup holder. Yes! Totally worth paying business class for. This would be bad if I fell. But yeah. And finally, the cockpit. Man, I wish I could just like narrate as I'm exploring this, but I, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> Other than like, this is where you drive the plane and I wish I could sit and get like a bit of a perspective, but this is about as perspective we're gonna get. I wonder what this is for. I guess to check if like there's like lightning or, or storm or something. That's what I'm saying. All these knobs and galley. I don't know. I know you pilots watching are probably having a heart attack, but this is Interesting, I guess. I know that this is for like the takeoff, right? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I never ever thought I would be able to do that. I wish we could like open one of these windows, like to be away. Right? No? Oh shit! Oh wait! Oh! Oh fuck, this is about to come off completely. Hold on. Something is opening and closing. I guess this is just about as much as it opens. Maybe it's just like to let a little breeze in, you know? But... Look. Also, what is that? I did not know you could access the bottom of the plane through the cockpit. That is amazing. It's gonna be in about a clear sky, and we should be in about 20 or minutes, and uh, it's gonna be a smooth ride, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah. It also looks like a lot of people have stolen all the different things that were once attached here. Oh, here we go. American Airlines. 2006. This was printed in 2006. Effective date. Radio station authorization. These are just a met sanitary license certificate. But it seems like that's it. And then the little peephole. Wow. I don't know if planes still have that. I probably would think they do, but yeah. Amazing. You know, to check who's knocking. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Flight 77 from service to San Juan to Unknown. Because we don't know where this channel is going to take us every week, but goddamn, has it been quite a ride so far. Well, as much as I would love to stay here, uh, it's time to go. Also, because I'm nervous about how I'm going to get off this plane, so let's hope I don't get injured again. So what's this? Huh. Whatever. All right. 
Oh my god, I hate this. Why am I doing this? Why do I do this to myself? I don't know, I don't know. I don't say, I don't say. Well, that is quite a drop, actually. I'm off of this, I guess. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm balancing a little bit. Come here, boo-boo, I don't want to leave you in this plane. So if any females ever want to visit this, I've made it accessible to you. Because definitely, I think only men have probably been here. Because this was not made for the height of a woman. So there you go. Dabri Camino. And actually, not, not just like in, the, in this plane. Like, if you're a woman and you want to explore and the world is telling you that you can't because you're unsafe or whatever the fuck, that's some bullshit. I have been to so many places. Hold on, boo. I have been to so many places. And in the journey, I've realized that uh, the world is full of shit. The world is not as dangerous as, as they paint it to us. Um, at least, of course, in countries, for, you know, countries like this, free countries. I know, I understand how some other ones are, but. Yeah, if you're a chick, man, if you want to explore, just go for it. Just go for it. Because look at the places that you'll find in the process. I started finding places like this when I stopped waiting for people. Not only to, talk, to come with me, but to give me the approval. I started seeing places like this when I just gave myself the approval to come see them. And boy oh boy, they're the stories I have to tell. To my grandkids when I'm old and shit. What a damn view. <sighs> and just like that, another exploration in, in the books. Man. Take a quick peek in here, because why not? Oh, it's guarded by spiders, but holy shit, this is huge. It doesn't move. Um. Whoa. So this would have been a a hangar, a military hangar, I think. Not sure how much justice this will do, but oh shit, look. Jump seat. I'm not looking to go too deep into this because to be honest, the plane was the main thing, but look how creepy that is. Let's go check it out. I don't know about that. <laughs> Stop for safety. Well, it's really dark in here. It's just a room with stuff. So check this out. Yeah. I hear crawling another room. That is awesome. Oh my god, with the bird standing there. Do you guys hear that? 
almost like somebody's like messing around with something in that building. I've been here for a few hours. And to my knowledge, I don't think anyone has entered this area but me. Let's see what's this way. I'm really curious as to what's that way. Looks like that's a pretty official entrance over there. Well, obviously we're not gonna go there. I'm not trying to start a record. I have never biked in such an open area. It's pretty neat. You can see the tires in the floor. People have been drifting here. But it doesn't look like this place continues anywhere. I mean, it could, but we'd probably end up in jail because this is pretty legit um, government uh, owned properties, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this um, goes directly to the um, actual airport, but I guess we're in the unofficial airport or the abandoned section. I'm not sure why, because, I mean, those hangers are in pretty good condition. They could definitely use them. And uh, I guess the mystery will always stand as to why this plane, out of all planes, out of all airlines, was left here. I guess something must have happened to the plane, and it was deemed unfixable, and they were like, well, I'll just leave it there. But you know what? It makes for a pretty cool sight. There's parking lots. So maybe this was just a maintenance area? I don't know. But uh, as for this building, uh, I don't think it's accessible. Well, actually, no, wait, there's an open door. Oh, shit. I really don't know what to think of this place, to be honest with you. It seems like people have tried to get in here, but have been unsuccessful. Yeah. More attempts. There's no way those are gunshots. Whoa, look at this. That is really old. Wait, what? worked. But check this out. This is the only thing that has called my attention from this place. This. That is old. I'm honestly only interested in one thing from this place. What the hell? Is that a crab? in Puerto Rico, I guess. But to be honest, I saw a window and I really want to look out of it. Is it right here?
That's all I wanted to see. This is what they saw. Cool. What is that noise? Well, whatever it is. Deuces. Seems like there's more buildings over there on this side. This whole area really is abandoned, but um, honestly, I feel like we saw the coolest thing already. Um, maybe I'm missing out on more stuff, but this place is huge. It would take more than a day to explore, so I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna bike my way back now to the car, and uh, yeah, what an interesting find. This island just keeps freaking surprising me, and at this point I'm not even shocked anymore, so get out of your house, go explore, but if you can't, don't worry. Girl, I will take you. Gosh. And I will take myself too, because I am in the same seat as you in the audience of the world.